begin by placing the eagle eye on the bed of your CNC machine. Remove the lens cap and rotate the eagle eye so that its position is appropriate and nearby the tool changer, leaving room for the spindle to come in front. Place the backdrop screen in front of it. 20 to 30 inches away is fine. Attach the Wi-Fi antenna. Plug in the power cord and press the button to start the eagle eye. After a minute or two, sometimes three minutes, the lights will flash, indicating that the internal Wi-Fi is now activated. You can use the tablet. Press the button to start the Eagle Eye program. It will show when it's connected. Choose Set Tools, and then it will indicate exactly whether to choose millimeters or inches, whatever your preference is. Next, you'll measure the outside maximum diameter of the tool, 23 millimeters and 20 millimeters. Enter those numbers in. We've abbreviated the numbers, rounded them up just for this demonstration. Now the device will help you set it by sliding the eagle eye up against the tool at the corner to the right of the lens. Type in the Y position, and the eagle eye will calculate exactly where the focal point will be. It's telling us to move the spindle to the exact location for focus. Next, we calibrate. We rotate the tool at about 100 RPM because the eagle eye takes multiple pictures indicating the entire surface of the tool. We see the image processed as a red and white image, very crisp. Next, you'll be instructed to move the machine one millimeter to the right. Move the spindle one millimeter. Then click Capture. You'll see the new image slide in from the right. Now select the edge and pull it with your finger so that it lines up exactly with the previous image. Use the small buttons below for fine tuning. Next you'll be directed to select tools. In this case, we've chosen the demo three position tool set. We're using tool number three create our guide images initially. We place into the eagle eye the X and the Z position. Z is always negative. Now we're going to create our guide images. The eagle eye will tell you where to move the position of the X. And when you move the machine there, simply click Capture. It tells us a new X position Click Capture again. You'll be directed this way until all your images, guide images, are saved. Now we're going to align the actual tools with their guide images. Eli tells you which tool to bring in first. Typically it moves from seven down to one. In this case, we've already done three. We're going to grab tool number two and bring it in front of the eagle eye. Tool number two is now coming into position on the video feed.
and we can see the guide image there. You don't have to make it perfect, just get it close to the guide image and then click capture. Now we see that the guide image is not quite lined up. So we're going to touch the edge that we want to line up and bring it closer with our finger. We'll show you how this looks like in real life. The image at the right is always the one that we're moving. And you can fine tune with the buttons below and check above and below to make sure everything's lined up well. Once we feel satisfied that it's lined up to its guide image, we now are going to get our estimated positions. We do this by clicking on the digital readout box. Be sure to double click the box that shows the actual position. We type in the X and the Z, and we're shown the estimated perfect position to the right. We move the machine to that position and then recapture the image to see if it's accurate. In this case, we see it's very accurate. So we simply select Set Tools to Continue, and the numbers are automatically saved. Now it tells us to move to the next position one. We drive position one into the, into the location of the guide. And just get it close. Capture the image. Position one is typically kind of rough because it's the first position. We can see that clearly. If we want to, once we get it lined up well, we can actually hit the button, the green button by the eye on the previous position. And we can see in green what the previous position is going to remove. And as long as there's some light green there, we know that those positions are aligned correctly. Once again, we enter the positions. And the estimated offsets gives us the estimated final position. We move the machine and recapture the image to check. We see that the position is good. We can hit the Set Tools and Continue button, and we finish the actual tool setting. Once we're done, we're going to audit the Eagle Eye for movement. This is always the last step to make sure that during the process, the Eagle Eye was not bumped or moved. We simply bring in the initial tool to the initial base position and capture another image. If the eagle eye is not moved, the two images should line up perfectly. And we see that they do. It's a good tool set. Next, the eagle eye gives us the final report. We can change the Z offset here, and it will automatically calculate it for all the tools in case that's something we want to adjust. Otherwise, the tool report comes up, and we simply take all these saved numbers punch them into our CNC, and the tools are set. Here we're demonstrating changing the Z. Once we're done, we hit Save, and it brings up a box to save the name of this report for future reference. We click Save and choose either Set More Tools, Move the Eye and Set More Tools, or Quit. In this case, we're done. Tool setting is complete. Congratulations.